Greetings, I'm Chappers. And I'm the captain. Welcome to Anderton's in the heart of Guildford in England. And today's challenge is cheapest distortion pedal versus most expensive distortion pedal. Fight! So, we know you guys have absolutely loved the cheapest Les Paul versus dearest Les Paul. So it's a challenge that Rob and I are going to run with, I think. Yes, we? we're going to run with it. Um, so, we thought we'd do cheapest pedal versus dearest pedal. Now, I know there's kind of absolutely no point going, well, if the cheapest pedal was a chorus pedal and the dearest pedal was a delay pedal, what would be the point? They have to be the pedal? same kinds of pedal. Yes, so even within the distortion genre, we found two martially sounding distortion pedals. Cheapest is the unbelievably popular, and I'm talking thousands of these sold. Yes. Tone City, Golden Plexi, weighing in at a very reasonable £39. And the most expensive is the Karen by Vemurum pedals, which weighs in at £320. And £20. £320 for a box with three knobs and a switch on it. Well, but this box is made of solid <laughs> brass, I think it is, or copper, or... Well, all I know is that a lot more super famous pro players have got these on their boards than these on their boards. So there's got to be something. Be something. Let's go find out. All right. Fight. Let's fight. All right. Let's fight. We are back in the room, and we have our two little friends on our beautiful kind of metallic studded plinth. So we're going from the guitar into the Vemuram, little short cable into the Golden Plexi, into an AB box on the floor which can switch between either hearing it through a Hughes and Kettner amplifier or through a Victory V40. Mm. Uh, all the levels have been kind of balanced and you are just gonna hear, this is our bass tone. Before we do the bass tone though, what do, what do the viewers think? Do you think it's gonna be, which is gonna be better? Do you think you're gonna get a variety of tones better from the Golden Plexi? Do you think you're gonna get more gain from the Vemurum? What are your initial expectations? I just wanna know who Karen is. Who's Karen? I don't know who Karen is. So we've got it plugged into two amplifiers. We have a, the Victory V40, which is nice and crispy and clean like this. And we have it going into the Hughes and Kettner, which is a little bit more hairy like this. And we're just going to jump between the two and have a fiddle. Let's do it. Let's do so, it. Vermeuren. Yeah. Vermeuren. Thirty-nine pounds, three hundred and nineteen pounds. <laughs> Let's fight. Let's fight. Vermeuren. Uh, Golden Plexi. Ready? <laughs> Go. Do it.
der, stå der, stå der. Well, it was great with both of them on, wasn't it? Well, you got that insane uh, feedback thing, didn't you? Smooth, sumptuous, sexual chocolate. In your face, no bars held, aggressive anger. Yeah, I mean, I think the player always picks up nuances that the <clears> listener <throat> doesn't pick up. So obviously, I, you know, I'm, in, I'm the listener in this instance. And clearly there's, there's, you know, there's not a massive difference between the two pedals. The, the golden plexi, the, the, you know, criticisms I suppose would be that this main gain knob doesn't seem doesn't to Doesn't need do to be anything. there really, does it? No, it's, it's <laughs> well, off it, or it's on. It's like, like from sort of, from like off through till about nine o'clock let's does just quickly, something. Let's just quickly show that because it is kind of fun. <laughs> So the, the Golden Plexi's got way more volume boost than the Vemuran, so I'll show you that again so you'll see. So if we put the... the So the Golden Place is louder. So Golden Place has just got more of a line level boost in it. <clears throat> the tone, con the, the Vemuran's dark as well. I mean, the, the, the tone all the way up on the Vemuran is needed, I think, to sort of give it that sort of uh, sparkle. I think it's needed to, if you're going to in front of a Plexi, Plexi's are quite bright. Quite possibly. It's to deal um, with that. I mean, the, the Vemuran in their manual are quite clear about the, the uh, era that they're trying to copy Marshall from. It's like a late 70s, early 80s, which, which wouldn't, necessarily be where you would consider Marshall making their really high gain amplifiers, you know, that came yeah, yeah, slightly yeah. later. The Golden Plexi is, it, they call it Golden Plexi, but it's clearly just designed to be that iconic uh, Marshall gain sound that we all know rather than necessarily yeah, yeah. any sort of So Plexi which artists sort of are using Van Buren? <laughs> it's like, do you know, I mean, that was, that was what I was, I'm glad you asked that because I was on the, the, the website. And, and obviously as far as the Golden Plexi is concerned, as far as I'm aware, no famous artists play it, albeit that thousands and thousands of not famous people do. Uh, so here we go. This isn't everybody, but these are just the ones that I have um, I'm familiar with. So Keith Urban, Mike Landau, Osnoy, Richie Sambora, uh, Scott Henderson, Tim Pierce, Matt Schofield. Does that mean um, they just posted one to each of those people or they actually used them? Who knows? Wayne Krantz, Pete Thorne, uh, Doyle Bramall II, Rob Castro, Fidel's brother, great player. Um, <laughs> You know, it's just a... Uh, the Vemuran, I mean, we only started doing Vemuran uh, this January, just gone, and I'd only even really heard of Vemuran from probably a year or two ago. But it it just seems to be the cool brand for, is it like, just, the cool players to play. <clears throat> is it action-packed, full of expensive components? Um, it weighed a lot, didn't it? It does, yes. I mean, it's like, you know... You it's made up, of solid copper or brass or something? I don't know, but you know you, pick, I don't, you, you know you pick some pedals up and it just feels like an empty casing. Let's find out. Um, you pick this up and it feels like you've got a little a gold bullion bar in your hand. Maybe not as extreme as that. Um, Them, you, Ram. But I don't know. I mean, I, Karen. I, there's, there's not a lot on their website to suggest why things are what they are. It, the Karen, to be fair, is not even really the big selling pedal. The, the, the big selling pedal is the Vemray or Vamray or whatever they call it. Rianray. Janray. 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 It's my favourite month. Uh, yeah. What month is it? Janray. Um, so, oh, come in. And again? <laughs> Beer says he agrees. Uh, with what, Rabir? I don't know. I think it was in, a, in a response to something else. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Vemurum on the Anderton's.co.uk website, which is a very good website. You should check it out if you'd like. Um, three hundred and nineteen pounds. Yeah, that's not weight, by the way. No, we said it was heavy, uh, but not that heavy. <clears throat> um, uh, designed in Tokyo. Yeah, it's Japanese made. Um, uh, I, half of me kind of sits there going, "Look, 
if that's what the guy who makes the pedals wants to charge for them, yep. and people want to pay that for them, yep. then it's not like... I'm going to find that there's something special in this pedal. That's what I'm going to do. I know, but I don't know that... I mean, apart from the fact that, you know, the guy who uses them has clearly got good ears and has clearly created a pedal that all the all the sort of like, you know, the, the, the cool players are using. Um, but yeah, I mean, our very own Mick Taylor and Pete Honore and uh, I know Dan Steinhardt's a big fan. So, I mean, you know, all the, all the good guys are, they're digging the pedals. Is it just um, a case of the more money you, you ask for something, the better people expect it to be? I, I did think to myself, as we were doing this, the pedal that we should design yeah. should be called the Psychosomatic. And that's, that's all that's, it is. A... And it does, it just, we don't, we, we keep it, we, we make a sealed box so it's physically impossible to get inside right. it. <laughs> and then we just leave it to you to decide whether it's yeah, doing anything or not. You're going to have people drilling and yeah. soaring for and it's, years. And it, it's just in your mind as to whether or not it's actually doing anything or not. And if it is, then it is. I'm and just, I, 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 I really want there to be something, I'm looking on the Vermeerum mm. website, custom paddles from Tokyo, and I'm desperately looking for them to say, these components or this yeah. material or but it doesn't say that no i mean it's even the you know even like the switch is it's just a therefore i'm calling shenanigans it's just a switch it's, you know it's it's so i mean i when i played it uh before you know before we shot the video it's definitely got that kind of chewy sort of organic-y kind of feeling where that's why i said that's why I said I was more interested about how the player felt than how the listener is, because it's quite gratifying to play. It does in a way play that nice the, and the easy, but the plexi. golden plexi is great. Oh, and do you know what? If I was to put the Andy to the at there as well, I think it would knock them both. Yeah, up the wall. in all fairness, this this chat we shouldn't forget that this challenge video was not a golden plexi versus Vemuram video. It was a cheapest versus dearest yeah. video. So we could have put. You know, the, the only reason. But I want to know this has got silver was, wiring, copper chassis. Yeah. You know, special gold laced pots and and, yeah. and, and I'm, I'm not hearing. Karen that. is the name of the fairy that's actually locked inside the pedal, and she's right. only allowed out if she gives you fifty thousand hours worth. And of every the time you press the button, what happens? It, uh, it hits her in the G spot, and she goes <laughs> like that, and uh, that's why you get such a good guitar tone. Right. It's a fairy orgasm every that, time they, you switch it every on. Every time you switch it on, it's a fairy. <laughs> Well, guys, comment in the comment section below um, which pedals you'd like to see the most affordable versus the most expensive of next. I'm thinking wah would be really good. Wah would be great because we could do 50 quid wahs versus Well, my favourite wah of all wars. time, which was on the floor and I was using, is the little mini yeah, dunlop. that's not what the challenge is. The challenge is cheapest versus dearest. We do a fire custom wah or an exotic wah that are yeah. both over £300. Versus... And we do a vox wah which is £49. Maybe even an electroharmonics wah for £49. Surely there's a, a muo wah or something or the moo of water yeah. is that really cool micro pedal that unfolds like a transformer yeah, yeah, we'll so it's it. small when you're not using it and big when you Goes are looking for energon a bit like something else i can I'm... think of pete desperately wanted to say that didn't he give me the lead i'd like to hear these for myself whilst you whittle and that will be the fade out uh, but rob's right in the comment section below we need to know what pedals to uh, do next you ready uh, we're going through both amps still so well, that's, you know what? Leave it through both amps.
Rory from the UK. Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. Yeah.